Hi, my name is Lila Yassine, and today I will demo user pass and LDAP support for HashiCorp Vault Credential Plugin. And this will show how to look up credentials via HashiCorp Vault for both user pass and LDAP users, because the code changes we've made has enabled um, look up via both of those. So now I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and go over some of the configuration steps that were needed for this. Okay, and we're going to start off in HashiCorp Vault authenticated as the root user. And that's so that we can show all of the configuration that is taking place um, within Vault to enable these two um, users to have access to secrets um, and their configurations. So I'll start off with showing the user that was created for user path, user pass demo here. So looking over here, we've got user pass as an authentication method selected. And we see we have a test user here named test user name. And we'll go ahead and view that user. So here we can see that um, it's got user pass engine as one of the tokens policies. So here we'll come look at the policies. So in user pass engine, we've created the this policy called user pass engine, um, and it basically creates or grants CRUD functionality to this particular engine to the assigned user. So in this case, the user pass user we just looked at. And then we'll come look at our LDAP setup. So here we have our LDAP authentication method. And we're going to start by looking at the configuration. So here we can see our LDAP URL. And then there's additional configuration here. We have Discover DN. We've specified um, some custom user search parameters here in order to um, search for the users and configure our specific user that we have here, which is AWX LDAP admin. And then we also have a group filter. And then I'll come back over here to access, and we're going to take a look at the specific user that we have, which is the AWX LDAP admin. And we can see that the policy that it has access to is the LDAP engine, which is similar to the user pass engine, with the exception of it is for the LDAP user. So we see this, and this is our specific engine. And then this is the policy that grants access to that engine. And now let's take a look at these engines themselves. So within the LDAP engine, we can see we have a key called LDAP key. And then if we look here, we have the LDAP secret. Similarly, we see we have the user pass engine with a user pass secret key and the user pass secret. And noticing also that these two users do not have access to each other's engine. So these are distinct secrets. So I can go back over here to our users. Okay, we see test username. And we see that it has access to user pass engine, but not LDAP user. And then we have the same scenario for our LDAP user here, and it only has access to the LDAP engine policy. And then we're going to come over here in the terminal and just show I'm currently exact into the vault container here in this particular instance as the user pass user. And we can see the path to the secret, the key name, and then the secret value. Notice that this is a distinct secret from the LDAP secret. And now we'll move over to AWX to look at some of the configuration here. So first we'll come look at our credentials. 
So here we have a few set up. We're going to start with the HashiCorp Vault secret lookup credentials. So I will start with LDAP. And we can see that we have HashiCorp Vault secret lookup selected. We have our server URL populated. And then we have our username and encrypted password and our path to auth. And this is important because it is part of the URL that is generated um, in the back end. Okay. Then we'll come over here and look at the machine credential. So before we go in and look at this, we may be wondering why we have a machine credential selected. And it's so that we can choose that plugin that we. Um, See, we'll go ahead and select machine. And you see here, this is um, additional information pops up and then you can actually choose LDAP secret. So I'll back out of here and go look at the one that we already have created. Alrighty. And we can see here that we've got the HashiCorp Vault Seeker lookup via LDAP chosen. And then with that, there is also a path. So let's cancel out of this. And we can see that it's already populated with our secret key and secret path. And then we'll come over here to our template. And we have our LDAP template set up. See that it's using the HashiCorp Vault secret here. And we are using that via playbook. So before we go ahead and launch this, let's look at the project that we have configured that is using our playbook. So we've got our repo here that it is pulling from source control. And then we've got our um, little playbook here that will go and pull the associated secret for that user based on the path that we populate. So we already showed that populated path and it will retrieve the secret based on that. And we'll go ahead and launch our LDAP job. And here we can see that it did successfully retrieve the LDAP secret. And then we'll come over here and look at the user pass. So similarly, we've got um, the HashiCorp Vault secret lookup setup and a machine credential. So for this, we can see we've got that uh, Vault secret lookup chosen as our credential type. We have our server URL. Then we have our test username, our encrypted password, and then our path to off in this case is user path. And then over here in our associated machine credential, we can see that we've specified the secret key name for our user and then the path to the secret. And then looking over the user pass job template, we can see that we have the project selected with our playbook. We have our playbook chosen here. And then we have the user pass SSH secret. And then we'll go ahead and launch this. And we can see that it successfully retrieved the secret. Thank you so much.